Um, and I remember looking, and the, because of the positions of the people, they were sort of, like, Heimer was on the northeast side, so he was closer to their base. And Nidalee, I think it was Nidalee, let's see here, yeah, Nidalee was closer to our base. So when I just glanced up and I saw Nidalee die, I thought our champion died, not their champion. Um, so, I, and but the Heimer was really low, so I thought, okay, if I ult, and it looked like he was walking towards their base, it looked like he was going to walk right into my ultimate, and I'd be able to maybe still get a kill out of that. And then, like, and then I realized after a while, well, first of all, not only did I probably miss the kill completely, uh, you know, he probably wouldn't have done anything, I was ulting my own character, but, like, I was new to Gangplank, and I was like, oh, oh, I have a global ultimate, quick, I gotta get it down, ASAP, blah, 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 blah. Panic, used it wrong, so that was kind of embarrassing, but, ah, uh, well, new champion. So, okay, so I've gone back to base at this point, I've completed my first Avarice Blade, and I'm starting on a second one. Um, I have, I know that some people do this build on a variety of people, including Twitch, Gangplank, sometimes on Shaco, uh, they, they stack multiple Avarice Blades, uh, because you get a high crit, and you get good gold production, so, you know, you get two, maybe three of them, I don't know where Shen is going, we're gonna get a good gank on Twitch here, I'm pretty convinced, bam, huge burst damage, and an exhaust for good measure, but, I don't know, maybe he didn't run because of the exhaust, but I'm not sure there was anything he could do there, so... All right, well, that went well. Um, yeah, so yeah, the, the Avarice Blade. So you could get maybe like three of them, and then your boots, and then you've got two slots left. You can start building on a big item. Conceiv you could conceivably build four of them. Um, and I may end up doing that this game, but I'm not sure that the fourth one is going to end up generating enough money for you. Uh, I mean, they're, they're sort of good in their own right. Am I going to kill Nidalee here? Do anything? I don't think, one, I don't think a single one of my bombs fucking hit her. Like, this ult is quite powerful, but it's so annoying. Okay, I just saw what the W ability is called. It's called Remove Scurvy. I knew there was something about it. Ah, oh, God, that was so annoying. I don't think it hit her. It did stop her from running through her tower, which was good. Uh, but she was able to escape out of the side anyway, because Nidalee has so much mobility. We're going to catch Warwick here. Uh, getting that funny issue where we're having trouble targeting him in the bushes, but... No problem. Looks like Shaco was the one to drop an exhaust this time, and we get the kill. Oh, what do I want to talk about? My boots. So, yeah, I had no idea what kind of gear to get, right? Because I haven't read anything about Gangplank. I went into this with no preparations. So I was trying to decide on boots. Um, and I'm like, well, Gangplank can do a lot of damage. If I got boots of mobility, I could, like, very reliably get some ganks down. Oh, it looks like Heimer's in trouble here. He's quite low. But, oh, yeah, he does go down, but we're able to get the kill. Or I'm able to get the kill. Uh, it's too bad. Uh, yeah, so I, I was like, okay, if I get boots of ability, I can go around and do a lot of ganking. Now, while Gangplank can do a lot of burst damage, since he doesn't really have a stun, he doesn't have any CC or anything like that, it might be hard to actually complete the gank. Like, you may, you'll show up, you'll parlay once, they'll start running, you'll parlay a second time as they're running away, and then they're safe in their turret. Okay, so he maybe needs a little bit of help to guarantee the kill because otherwise people will just be able to escape. I, I don't know. I, ha I don't have that level of experience. So I'm not sure the Boots of Mobility are a hugely great item for him in general. It worked out very well in this game, but I, I did end up having a lot of support. Uh, so who knows? Maybe if you're you're with a pre-made, if you're on a uh, voice chat of some kind, and you can go to a lane where someone's got CC, and you're like, okay, we're setting up a gank, and then you go in together, and then you know someone drops the stun, and then your burst damage means that the person is going to die no matter what. That is pretty good. Uh, maybe you can get a phage or something. I don't know. Yeah, so, okay, and the recommended boots are Berserker Greaves. Ooh, this may turn up. Wow, Twitch is here too. Yeah, I definitely go down. My alt goes down, and fucking Shen survives it. It looks like maybe he dropped a heal or something. I don't know. I should be getting some assists. One assist, that's it, one kill. Oh, there's potentially a second kill. Wow. No, Yi is the one who gets a double kill. God damn it. Triple kill? Lupet, don't run away. What are you going to do? Yeah, I remember this part. Like, there was no way he could possibly escape Yi at that point. So the only correct move is to turn around and try to kill him, or at least do some damage on him or something. I, I don't know. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Looks Okay, so we're 16 minutes in the game. I've already bought three um, 
uh, Averse Blades, and looks like I'm going to be going for a fourth. So that, that's pretty good in terms of timing. Like, clearly you can get them fairly early. Um, you know, there's a limit to how late in the game you want to buy Averse Blades. It's possible I'll turn this, uh, this what is it called? Brawler's Gloves? Whatever, this, this crit item. It's possible I'll turn it into something else like a Zeal. I don't remember exactly. We'll have to see. Um, oh, yes, yeah, the boots. So the recommended item are the Berserker Greaves. So a faster attack rate, that's probably okay. Uh, and, you know, Gangplank obviously is a melee character, but in practice a lot of his damage just comes from parlay, so I'm not 100% convinced on that one. And what I do see online a lot, people recommend the Sorcerer Boots, or Sorcerer's Shoes, uh, because the penetration helps his ultimate um, do more damage. And I, it does seem to be a popular item, and I have tried it. The problem is, I'm not convinced his ultimate does that much damage. Um, they really have to sit in it to reliably get hit more than once. Uh, a lot of the value comes from the slowing. I, I, I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to see. Again, I'm not sold on the Boots of Mobility because I'm not 100% sure about his pure ganking power, but I'm not sold on the Sorcerer's Shoes either. Uh, or the Berserker Greaves. I, I really haven't come to a conclusion as to what the best choice for his boots are. I um, have to make a decision at some point. What are we doing in the bushes here? We did see the... Oh! Of course, the second I decide to engage is when he shows up. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to finish him off here. Mm. There's a lot of damage going down. Oh, yes! Yes! I did kill uh, Master Yi! Look at that. The alt actually does land a shot and actually does kill someone. So, there's something you said for it there, I guess. Maybe I should be a little bit more impressed with it than I am. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So... I mean, the one thing I like with the Boots of Mobility means you are, you, you can be there for any single fight. And you are free to go back to your base as often as you want to refill your mana, which is good because I don't have any mana regen. Uh, so, I mean, I guess that maybe with my build it's better because my build does a lot more burst damage, but also needs more mana more often, can't heal himself as much. And if you go with the Chalice of Harmony build, then perhaps you're better off with the Sorcerer Shoes because um, you don't have to go home quite as much, and you're also not as much of a ganker. And so the Boots of Mobility have less, less purpose for you. I, I guess that might be an argument that makes sense. Ooh, we got Warwick jumps in on Ezreal here, and I'm doing my best to shoot him from behind. Wow, just barely getting down. Oh no, there's Shen! I think he's dead. I think I think I may be dead as well. I'm not 100% sure what I can do here. I do have my rever re move scurvy up, so if I get taunted here, I'll at least be able to break out of it. Okay, it looks like I made my escape. Even with Yi there, he's not going to be able to chase me into the tower. Hmm, 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 hmm. Very, very exciting there. At least I got another kill. Shut down a killing spree too, so that's feeling pretty good. Current score is 4-1-1. So yeah, I'm liking how things are. Uh, they've got a lot of squishy targets, and I guess that's Gangplank is the anti-squishy guy. Uh, here I'm going to discover that even though I'm level 11 and I've got a good amount of items, Gangplank is not really the best jungler. <laughs> uh, and I know in, in a couple other games I, I try you know, doing a little bit of early jungle, and it doesn't really work out for me. Okay, so at this point I've got enough money, I can start building my Infinity Edge, which of course is the, that is the master item for this build, and potentially for Gangplank in general. Uh, ooh. Oh, no, we're going to be able to get a kill on Twitch there. Excellent. So at least my ultimate accomplished something. Twitch was not able to run away fast enough to avoid Shaco's gank. Um, yeah, Infinity Edge. For like any crit-centric uh, build, it's obviously awesome, and I'm going to click the crit-centric guy here. Um, some of the other builds I've seen for Gangplank, again, without without going as heavily into crit as I am, and also without getting the crit damage runes. Instead, maybe they get crit chance runes, and then they don't build any Avarice Blades, they just go straight for an Infinity Edge, and that is perfectly fine. You know, so they would go Chalice into Sork Boots into Infinity Edge, and then keep going from there. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm really liking this crit thing, because people can't react to it fast enough. Like, they're, they're, it's so shocking the amount of damage you can put out in a burst, uh, assuming you get your crit off. Obviously, you don't, you're not, you know, I'm not going to go around with 100% crit rate. But I do crit a fair amount of the time, and I've got all the bonus crit damage. And now that I've got my BF sword, 
my bullets are doing a hell of a lot more damage because